It's been a difficult start to the baseball season for the USF Dons, but in the history of the program, no player has carried as much cachet as their first baseman, Manny Ramirez Jr. I mean, this is the perfect place for me. He's the son of a baseball player who was booed for years in San Francisco, yet Manny Ramirez Jr. hopes to sit high on the hilltop at USF. I hope it puts people in the seats yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and gets some excitement about the program. It was the former bat boy, Mac Meyer, that gave Don's head coach, Nino Gerritano, the inside track to Ramirez. The boys were roommates at the IMG Academy in Florida. G always knew that I was in high school with him, and he was always interested in how he as a hitter, anything like his dad or anything. I said, the guy's got some pop, I'll tell you that. At 19, Manny Ramirez was on the fast track to the big leagues, where he hit 555 home runs. At the same age, his son is still trying to crack USF's starting lineup. It's tough going right now because... People expect Manny Ramirez Jr. to be Manny Ramirez. Yeah. When you watch video of Manny uh, breaking into the big leagues at 19 in Cleveland and you look at young Manny, you're like, wow, that's, yeah. that's the exact replica of what, what they look like. Manny Jr. lived primarily with his mother in Florida, but summers with dad meant life on the road in the big leagues and exposure to the 2004 World Series champion Red Sox. I remember that group was just a funny group. They'd just be playing video games in the clubhouse, hitting. I mean. They had the time of their lives, like you probably forget that they were that they had a season. But Ramirez says he prepares like every day is his last. It's a work ethic that was instilled by his father, who likes to teach his son hitting philosophy over mechanics. He doesn't really try to tinker much and just it's more about the mentality and the approaches that what we really talk about more than the swing. But nothing has prepared him for carrying around the baggage of his father's name. I'm back. <laughs> For a time, he was baseball's biggest lightning rod, pulling off stunts that could only be described as, quote, Manny being Manny. Junior says it's hard to avoid certain criticism. I mean, you just hear all the, the negativity that my dad brings, but I mean, at the end of the day, they don't really know who he is. They just see what the media portrays him as. You know, he hears that from everybody. Oh, you're not as good as your dad, or wow, that's Manny Ramirez. You know, just he hears the negative side of that, but I think it's just people jealous people or just people saying things. Yeah, when I watched him as a young player before he got to college, uh, I'd sit in the stands and watch him and the kids that were performing in the events with him would have the same kind of comments about him. And that's part of the reason why his demeanor on the field is different from his father's. Giratano sees glimpses of his dad's personality outside the batter's box. He has fun playing defense. Yeah, I've seen clips of his dad at the major league level catch a fly ball, high five a fan on his way out there and throw it back in. So yeah, Manny does the same thing. He'll catch a ball on a foul ball and he'll make some kind of movement and you'll be like, wow, that's, he's having fun doing it. I think you have to be pretty guarded if you're him um, to, to live up to that expectation. So he, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't let it loose very much, but you know, when I get a smile out of him, it's, it's special, you know, it warm you up. It's like, wow, I, I earned that smile. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Ramirez, big Manny, was a player coach for the Iowa Cubs last year. His son said he's interested in doing that again this season. We're back after this.